All right, welcome everybody. Uh, tonight is, uh, well, a, a field sales rep uh, presentation for, for sales. And it's primarily aimed at the home inspection industry. But if you're watching this and you're not a home inspector, it's perfectly fine. I promise you that you will get something from it tonight uh, and you'll get something from your peers on the call. Uh, most of my friends that would have seen this and jumped on uh, from my Facebook are uh, usually from the real estate industry. So it's gonna be related and you're probably going to be familiar with some of the concepts, but it's also you know just, just good sales practices. And um, I have a, a large sales team all across the country that sell our home warranty products. And then on the call with us, we have some of the leading home inspecting, inspection company owners from all around the country. And you know, 10, 15 years ago, most of them didn't have salespeople. Like they were the sales guy. Uh, today, they have salespeople. In some cases, they have multiple salespeople. And uh, tonight we're, we're presenting this because uh, I, I got requested uh, to do this so that we could record it, they could share it with their salespeople and, um, and it would help them with their training. So it's not their only training, certainly. Uh, they, they wouldn't want that. They won't want to get the, you know, their, their flavor uh, in there and, and you know, uh, introduce their local agents when they take them out on, on the road and show them around. But, uh, but this will give them a good idea of some of the concepts that, that we train. Uh, and, uh, and you can take these, these concepts and apply them to whatever your features are. Okay, so if you hear a feature tonight and you go, well, I don't use that feature. Okay, the, that, that, that's fine. You know, there, you can still go out and sell utilizing um, uh, some of the strategies we're gonna go through here tonight. So let's, uh, let's start with uh, the process because most people that come into uh, real estate uh, in general, but certainly home inspection, you know, they don't know what a home inspection is. They did not go to high school and think, uh, you know, when, when they were asked by their college counselor, well, what do you want to do with your life? You know, none of them said, I cannot wait to graduate high school and become a home inspector. You know, it just did, they don't do that. Um, it, there's, there's not really a college program for home inspector either. So, you know, people stumble into this. And, uh, and, and so realize that when you hire someone and they come in to work for you that, that they don't know what a home inspection is. Some of some people, most people, don't really even know the real estate process, believe it or not. So you have to tell them what they're, what they're doing and, they, and their whole job is to connect with agents and they're connecting with agents in person uh, and you know, more and more now uh, in one-on-one -on -one circumstances and in small groups with you know, lunch and learns uh, and uh, just buying lunches because you don't get as many of uh, part D here on your screen. Uh, the the uh, small group presentations uh, and office presentations. You know, you get uh, you, you get only the ability to see one agent at a time or through Zoom or online or at hosted events. Um, sometimes you get introduced via broker relationships and that's fine, but usually most of what a salesperson does in the home inspection industry is this in-person one-on-one -on -one small groups and the office presentations. In fact, most of our, uh, most of our home inspectors uh, pay their people based on things like how many small group presentations did you do? How many office presentations did you get this month? Uh, and that's part of their, their, uh, their KPIs at the very least, if not part of their bonuses. So here's your, your goal. If you're in the real estate industry as a vendor, and I don't care if you're one of my home warranty sales reps uh, or a sales rep for a home inspection company that we work with, you wanna make sure that you're doing at least two but more likely five presentations where you have multiple agents in the room. That's an indication of success. If you're doing less than that, it's because, um, and, and I'm not saying this because I'm mean, uh, well, maybe I'm mean, but I'm really just honest. Uh, it's because you suck and you need to find a different thing to do. <laughs> you have to get to this point. And I'm not saying that, that you should expect to get there within the first you know, 30 days that you're in the business, 
But at least in the, the first, you know, three to six months, if after six months you're having trouble getting in front of people to talk, um, you're probably built for something else. And that's not a bad thing. It just means you're built for something else. And it might even be something that's available as a career there uh, at the inspection company that you're working at. So here's, here's another thing that you need to do in your day. So you know, you're connecting with agents. There's all the ways to do it on your screen. Uh, this is real basics. We're going to get into some of the specifics about some of the topics that uh, our clients are demanding uh, I go into tonight, which are, you know, details that and ways to present things like the inspection warranty products, uh, which we're, we're happy to do, of course, but we're also happy to do this. You know, you have to have the basics. So here's where you connect with them. Here's your goals. Uh, and also you need to be well-trained on systems. We have videos for uh, BAM, which stands for the bro bro uh, Broker Agent Dashboard. Uh, marketing dashboard. Uh, and there's also this um, email marketing platform that basically operates like a CRM now called MANA. And your goal or your KPI should be that you are doing at minimum 10 new agents per day into those systems while also hitting 10 offices and sending out 10 uh, personalized emails and making 10 personalized phone calls. And it's it's pretty simple to pick up the phone, make 10 calls and ask for business. It's amazing how many people don't do it. Uh, you basically, like that's the bar. <laughs> in, in sales, if you're doing at least that, you're probably successful. And if you do it consistently, then you're very successful. Um, here's the other thing, the follow-ups. So part of what you should be doing as a salesperson in the home inspection industry uh, or home warranty industry, in fact, many industries, is you should be doing what I would, would call uh, some inside sales tasks. And those inside sales tasks are things where um, you're, you're taking opportunities from sales that already happened. So 10 to 15 personal phone calls and follow-ups on orders that are happening and follows follow-ups on each customer service issue as well. Those are your biggest opportunities. The best thing that can happen to you for creating a new relationship with a, a real estate agent in my uh, very vast 22 year experience working with uh, a total in my system over my entire career, about 450,000 real estate agents at our company is to have a problem. <laughs> the minute you have a problem with, with an agent and uh, their, their clients, you know, going apeshit over whatever it is to, today, uh, they'll, they'll go apeshit over all sorts of things. Uh, that's your opportunity to get on the phone, get with the agent, follow up, commit, and find uh, a solution to whatever their problem is, which sometimes is just listening. Sometimes it's writing a check, get with your boss, of course. Uh, but, but I wish... I wish I had, you know, more customer service problems in a day. We need to stop doing things so damn well around here. Next thing, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, you need to refer to inspectors wherever applicable. And, and, and what I mean by this, and this is the same in, in any business, is that if you're looking for technical knowledge, if you're responding to, to a technical question, you need to make sure that that, that goes to the right party. Oh, there we go. That's better. <clears throat> We're still letting people in. Wow. Here's the other thing you need to be doing every single day. This is simple. Every time you talk to a real estate agent, you need to ask for referrals. And now you don't be over the top about it. Don't be in their face. Don't be demanding. But just say, hey, by the way, if you know somebody that is looking for a great home inspector, uh, you know, I'm not hard to find. <laughs> you know, so something along those lines, just something fun, something that reminds them, because particularly in real estate, which is a, you know, a, um, an industry where the participants are taught on their way in, here's how you get business. You pick up the phone and you call your sphere. You call your cousin, you call your, uh, your 
uh, sister, your brother, uh, people that you used to work with, people that you went to school with, and you ask them for their business or you ask them for your, their referrals. And so, you know, they're in a referral based business. That's what they understand. And everything that I just gave you, those six things that you, that you do there, even if your message sucks, even if you're not the best inspector in town by, by a long shot, um, you do that and you repeat it, uh, you'll make a living. If you're, you know, exceptional and you have an exceptional product and you deliver over and over and you don't, you know, you're not constantly feeding a funnel from the top to uh, fill in uh, a, a leaky ship from the bottom, then, you know, you'll probably do really well. Uh, so here's, here's some things that this presentation is not going to uh, include tonight. It's not going to include real estate basics. You got to you got to get those real estate basics from your boss or watch one of my other videos. I have a, a, a very popular YouTube channels uh, and know who the parties are. Um, you should know your social media metrics and procedures, and those should be defined by your company. I, I'm not going to, and, and that's why we're not uh, delivering that today. I'm pretty good at the social media thing, uh, but I can't define for you how many you know, how long you should be on there, whether it's appropriate to be on there certain times a day, et cetera. That's between you and your boss. Um, we're not going to talk about advanced discussions that you might have with a vet, uh, with a, a broker, including things like vendor programs. So, uh, you know, if, if you're new to the game, for, for sure, but even if you've been around for a while, we're just not going to have a discussion tonight about, uh, you know, what it takes to to vet a deal and say this is a Remax office that I should pay some money to, you know, that may probably isn't even your job as a salesperson. But we're not we're not going to discuss it tonight. Uh, and you know, other procedural things like expensing your uh, expenses and purchasing uh, your uh, meeting schedule, uh, escalations, you know, where you send a, a complaint, you know, should be to your boss, of course. Uh, general inspection knowledge. If you want general inspection knowledge, go to uh, cpecertification.com. If, if you don't have any knowledge at all about home inspection, go to cpecertification.com. And in you know 10 minutes, you'll learn more than, than uh, most people learn in a lifetime. Uh, orphan follow-up. Uh, that, that's something that uh, that's a fun thing that you can learn if you watch some of our videos at, for instance, homeinspectionuniversity.com. Uh, and we're also not going to get into HR issues and inspector referrals. And, um, you know, you're, you're, these are things that you should get from your boss. So let's make sure that that is how it goes. Uh, so here, here's some things about the presentation. Um, and this is something that you should know. I'm going to get rid of this person who's doing this. That Coy Bradstreet, you you realize you're you're like making it uh, some sort of a party in here, right? Oh, there you go, sir. Uh, what was that? It's okay. Don't don't worry about it. Um, so, you know, here's what uh, what what I know about your businesses. And th this includes people that are on the, on the call that are not in, even in the home inspection business. If you're here tonight, you're probably an entrepreneur or, or close to it, an entrepreneurial mindset. Um, and maybe you're a home inspector that, you know, hasn't, uh, hasn't uh, discovered yet how uh, wonderful I, I am. Um, but either way, you probably deliver something pretty good. You know, you're here on a, on a, uh, I don't know what day it is. I don't do days. I think it's a Thursday uh, at 7 uh, 20 p.m. So, you know, you're pretty de devoted. I, I would imagine that you deliver for your clients pretty well. And if, if they could actually watch you and experience all the way from start to finish, that they would use you on every single occasion that they possibly could. Um, and, you know, we're the same, but you, you got to have some reasons to go along with it. Because if you don't have reasons, and that this is a really important part of, of marketing and sales, if you don't have reasons why you're better that you can express in one to 10 words that are not reasons uh, that are generic or cliche or something that your competition can say, if you have unique reasons that are you know, verifiable and demonstrable, 
uh, that makes you real and it makes it easier to convey a message. So why is it that, you know, RW, RWS, uh, Residential Warning Services, uh, my company, is, you know, gaining popularity in real estate? Well, it's because we have the best coverage. And when I say best coverage, I don't mean like subjectively, I'm saying we're the best. No, I mean, we have literally a line. The first line of our, our contract it says, if you find something to be covered in any other agreement out there, we'll cover it plus everything in our agreement. So, you know, we are in binary terms, the best. There's, there's no question about it. Um, we have the best price. Well, we, we guarantee that. Uh, we have coverage for underground water and sewer lines. Nobody else does that without uh, charging you for it. Um, we have uh, connections to the home inspection process. These guys that are on the phone call tonight uh, that establish a true no pre-existing conditions uh, scenario. Uh, and we also have things like our single deductible per claim, which you know essentially is our way of guaranteeing repairs from contractors that we you know you know we don't own. Um, and we're actually open 24 seven. It's not, you know, our phones are open 24 uh, seven in, in the Philippines. No, in Carmel, Indiana, we have uh, hundreds of people that are here, including a, uh, a night shift. So, you know, you gotta have something that's kind of your shtick. Let's, uh, moving on. So you're going to identify your audience, you're going, which is probably going to come from your boss. Uh, and then you're going to, uh, you know, have a deck. And, and, and this, is, this is something that so many salespeople don't have together. And I'm going to show you what I mean by a deck slide here in a second. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to use it. You know, so you're, if your salespeople don't have a deck, if you in your business, whatever you're marketing, don't have a deck that says, here's a, a feature that everybody should know about, and here's how it's e easily expressed, um, then you're going to fail. You're going to stumble. It, it means you don't have scripting. You don't have features. You can't cut it short. People will not have interest in what you have to say about your business. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Um, and let's go to the next thing. Uh, also have one, one liner. So I'm going to show you the decks. You need to come up with your own. And, and for some of these things, you know, they're universal to some clients on, on the, uh, on the call here and ones that would, that might be, uh, listening to this recorded session. Uh, but for whatever it is that you do have your one liners and your one liners generally have components of who you are, uh, uh, who we are. <laughs> uh, so it, it's, you know, who you are as a person, who we are as a company, uh, what we do and why it matters. Uh, and if you can combine those things, it, you know, in such a way that it, it uh, conveys really well. For instance, I'm Nathan Thornberry with Residential Warranty Services. We've been in business for over 30 years. We take great care of clients and we cover more than any other home warranty in the market. There you go. So um, now we can get a little bit more specific and say we're a home of uniquely great coverage, including sewer guard and 24 seven service right here from our Carmel, Indiana headquarters. Um, so there you go. There's your one liners. You should have something along those lines. Let's go ahead and, uh, and stop at one other thing that you might consider having. And, and for the longest time, I did not have any sort of mission statement because uh, I kind of feel, feel like they're, you know, they're lame. <laughs> um, and then I was watching, uh, you know, two CEOs ago, the, uh, the Uber CEO on uh, a CNBC show. And I think it was like, you know, a, a Donnie Deutsch thing. And he, he was asking something and he, he said his mission was to, and, and uh, his exact words were, uh, make transportation as available as water. And I thought, well, wow. <laughs> like, it, like, even if it's not a real wholesome mission statement, it, it's not like, you know, our mission is to help people, you know, some cliche nonsense. Um, it, it, it's very true. You know, it, I, I don't think you can get a, an Uber where you cannot get water. <laughs> That's, it's, it's very, very accurate. And, and he wouldn't want to deliver Uber drivers to where it was unsafe and there was no water. So our mission as a company is 
Very simple. It's to eliminate liability for any and all parties to the real estate transaction, period. End of story. Whether you're a buyer, seller, real estate agent, or home inspector, that's our, our, our job. And we do it through things like uh, you know, eliminating an E&O deductible. And here we are. At the very first example, this is an example from my business. I'm going to give you one for yours of a deck slide. So this is a deck of features. I can pull this out on my uh, iPad. I can pull it out and put it on a projector screen. I can have it on the screen during a Zoom presentation. And you know, you, here's three features of our uh, deductible coverage that's free for uh, real estate agents. By the way, you don't have to raise your hand or anything like that. If you want to chime in at any time, um, you do it just simply by, you know, unmuting your microphone. So let's go to another one and we'll get something specific for um, the home inspectors on the, uh, on the call here. So here's their, uh, their sewer guard policy. And, you know, imagine a, a, a home inspector's logo here in the top left. I, I see uh, on the screen now, Jason uh, Rivera with uh, core inspection services uh, out of Northern California. Um, you know, you could envision his logo there. You know, the, our logo is only there as an example. This is a free deck that we, we give out to our clients so that they can build their own messaging off of it. Um, but, you know, free with every qualifying inspection, uh, there's a plumbing coverage that covers those underground water and sewer lines. And whether it's a root intrusion or a line collapse, we got you covered. So there, there you go. Uh, this is something that, you know, you don't have to have in front of you. Once you've reviewed it enough times, this is how you train your salespeople, okay? Um, let me go to a, another one from, from my side of things. Uh, best price. We have a RESPA compliant $60 admin fee and extraordinary service. And, you know, we're that the only home warranty with a satisfaction guarantee. So, um, you know, Pretty cool stuff. On the home inspection side, uh, when your qualifying inspection includes these features, you get these free extensions to your, uh, to your warranty with us. So uh, let, me, let me find some more of the home inspection side of things. Here we go. Okay, so this is like way advanced. This is crazy, uh, crazy advanced. Some of you will not be uh, familiar with this stuff at all, and you'll you'll say, well, gosh, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, so I'm going to have to give you just a little bit of a premise here. There are inspectors uh, all across the country, probably around 2,500 of them at this point, that offer, uh, you know, not just our basic warranty packages with their inspections and recall check, but they also offer a structural coverage that has a $100,000 limitation. And this covers things uh, like foundation problems. It covers uh, problems with roof structures, with uh, flooring systems, with walls. And we write enormous checks on these claims. They're, they're more rare, but they are definitely more expensive. So if you're an inspector that is offering this, what do you go out there with? A simple <sighs> message. We offer with our inspections a full one-year structural warranty. Uh, and, you know, we can put it in a number of different ways, but this is probably the simplest, easiest, and most effective. Uh, let's go to some, some of these other, other platforms or other, other products, rather. Um, hey, Ethan, one, go ahead. one quick question. Um, just thinking about that sewer guard guarantee, um, do you find it uh, helpful to ask our marketing reps to share like personal stories that our businesses have had in the past? Because we've found that super helpful to say like, oh yeah, we had an issue and we explained the issue. Um, instead, we found that more useful than just handing them the flyer that says we cover sewer lines, you know, um, would you say that that's beneficial for the marketing reps to uh, learn some true stories based on our companies of what we've had to go through. You know, I am trying to find because um, we we started adding to uh, some of the decks these 
kind of testimonials, right? And they, and they are stories, but they're, they're also testimonials. <laughs> um, and I did not add one deck that I really should have, which is, were the deck slides that we added from this year's Inspection Super Conference in Vegas, where we uh, laid out that at core inspection services last year, there was over you know $35,000 in free repairs for recalled items. There was over you know $60,000 worth of uh, claims and over $30,000 worth of uh, reductions in um, contractor bids because of the processes that you have for your clients after. So, you know, you add all that up and, you know, in clients that were referred to, to core uh, had $160,000 worth of benefits that, you know, they would not have seen if they went to uh, one of your competitors. So there is a slide for that and a deck slide for that. Um, I will post that up in, uh, in our group. So uh, it'll be there when you uh, probably tomorrow when you get get off work, I have to go find that. So yes, great question and very, very true. Um, it, there's another way to, to promote that, which is picture, testimonial, you know, and a testimonial that, you know, it, it describes that situation. Uh, dude, totally. It, it works well. Anything else on that? Well, I'm good. I was just, it reminded me with that sewer guard slide. Yep. Oh, definitely. Um, and gosh, I, I'm surprised that we don't have one in here. We, we have a bunch of different ways to put this. And then you just add in your, um, your testimonial from your local client, right? So here's your, uh, your identification of the things that we cover, corrosion, tree roots, uh, and hidden leaks. So you know, and, and by the way, for those of you, of you that are watching this that um, uh, might know Jason uh, or one of the other inspection companies on, on the line here, uh, you know, when they do an inspection, they're running water and they're running water down the drain. And when they do that, they're inherently running it down the main water line too. And, you know, if there's a problem in that main water line, they do often find it. Uh, even if even without a, a, a sewer camera, uh, sometimes it takes a sewer camera to find a problem. That's another issue for a, another day. But sometimes there's a problem way down the line and, you know, uh, a, a six inch water line or your sewer line uh, or even a four inch sewer line, it'll hold 100 to 150 gallons of water between the house and the street. <laughs> so if, if you're pretty close to the street, and, uh, and the problem is way down there. It might not be identified until after uh, your clients move in and then they find this. <laughs> and they find this in this method. Uh, you know, this is from a, a separated sewer line and it's, you know, full of gunk. And, you know, they, they eventually have it all back up after, you know, they, they, they switch out the way that the house is utilized, the way that the plumbing system is utilized, because it was, you know, an empty nester. They had had kids. They they grew up. They moved out, uh, and now they're downsizing. And you know, they're elderly. They you know they poop like once a week if they're lucky. Uh, but the uh, then they sell to a new family, you know, and they, they come and there's like four of them, and they're you know they're pooping all the time, and and so they they, they quickly identify problems that that could have been, you know, not hidden, you know, it wasn't bad intentions. And, but the reason why this happens after people move in is because you change the use. And now, you know, a place where water could have uh, seeped into the ground and dispersed, it no longer can because of the volume. So um, that's that. Water lines are covered too. There you go. You, you know, we have all these different ways that in, in the deck you can present it. And as a salesperson, you just want to find the message that you, you are um, comfortable with, uh, whatever it is that you're selling and whatever features it is that you're using to sell uh, and have those at the ready. Uh, and, you know, in these days, you're, you're carrying a screen around with you at, at all times and you can send the stuff, you know, little screenshots to those clients as well. Um, here's a good one. And this is one, if there's two things that are most powerful for a salesperson, 
in today's home inspection market. It is uh, the sewer line coverage, sewer guard. So we do an inspection, your client moves in, it backs up, we're going to dig up the yard for you. That's powerful. Um, that's a problem that, that every real estate office has experienced is, is a nightmare where the client moved in and they have this problem and the seller didn't know about it, the warranty doesn't cover it, and the, um, uh, the inspector, if they're, well, if they're not some, one that has sewer guard, has nothing to, to help your client with. They just say, sorry, you know, we didn't find it. Uh, and, and their contract protects them from your, your client, if you're a real estate agent watching this, uh, being reimbursed for their damages. So the, the second most popular uh, and most effective uh, feature that we offer inspectors is the Platinum Roof Leak Protection Plan. We're talking five years of roof leak protection, and we have some cool decks like this. So you can you know, kind of have that, that pretty uh, roof situation, pretty house. There's no limitation on roof types or age of roof. Every roof, every season, we have you covered. That's and cool stuff. And, and uh, we say, you know, here's five years of roof leak protection. Then there's the, you know, kind of the darker side of this which is, all right, you know, there's a reality. When, when your clients move into a house uh, and they experience more water than they intended to be there in that house, uh, that they get really unhappy. <laughs> and uh, that when the ceiling starts falling down or they start having things like, as in this picture, some, uh, some mold, and we put that in some of our other sli deck slides as well. Um, I'm not sure that this one, was uh, a good one for the roof. This is a, a mold safe one, right? Because the you know a roof leak wouldn't result in in uh, uh, this because the the wall doesn't continue up. Uh, but you know there's a reality of what happens after you have a mold problem. Um, so it, this inspires an emotional response, and that's why these these uh, deck slides have those in them. Uh, moving on. And, and by the way, chime in, anybody who has a question or wants to talk about, uh, you know, a different feature or how you present a different feature, I'm going to go to uh, back to structural. Nathan, yes. these tech slides, are they in the resource tab for us business owners? Good or question. So if, if you are a, uh, a user of our products, all you have to do is email Mike Dorr, that's M-D-O-E-R-R, -R, at rwswarranty.com and ask him for the 2022 sales deck. And it's, all, it's all yours. Take it, rip it apart. Uh, it, it's not, it's not just pictures, you know, it's, it's functional uh, PowerPoint slides. So you can, uh, you can change up the wording, you can remove one component, put your own logos in, that sort of thing. So uh, it's free to all of you. Just email Mike Dorr and he'll send it off. So here's your, uh, your next structural warranty. Again, this is our exclusive one-year structural warranty. And here's the, the, the point. If you're a salesperson in the home inspection industry, you know you want to make the, the point that the aggregate coverage on this is $100,000. Um, and the reason you want to do that is because so many of the inspectors, and, and you won't know this coming into the industry, uh, but so many of the inspectors in, in our industry have, um, in fact, almost all of them have a inspection agreement that limits their liability severely. In other words, uh, they can have a problem uh, that, uh, let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can mute everybody again, just, uh, it, it, if you unmuted yourself and um, you know somebody's you know, behind you uh, making noise, uh, press press mute. Yeah. Come back and unmute whenever. But uh, there you go. Thank you. Um, so most all of these inspection agreements severely limit damages to the client. They say basically that their inspector can miss ten thousand dollars worth of problems, or they can move in and they can have a five thousand dollars structural problem. And the only remedy is their inspection feedback. And, you know, almost every real estate office, if it's a major real estate office in town, 
has had this experience. And when, when you put right in front of them that you have $100,000 in structural coverage, that's meaningful. So, you know, your, your three go-tos are underground sewer line, uh, the five-year roof leak protection, and the structural coverage, um, the ex extended structural coverage. I'm going to get to uh, another, another piece here. Um, it's the next slide, but it disappeared on me. Let me see if that, there it is. Okay. Keep letting people in, no problem. Okay, so this is available to inspectors and all you have to do is replace the, uh, with your logo uh, with, from ours. If, a, if an agent is using you, we will cover their deductible for a full year and up to $5,000 on any kind of problem they have with their clients that becomes an E and O claim. And that does not mean that they have to be sued for negligent referral or that uh, they have to have a problem with the property condition at all. This is just coverage for any issue, any issue at all. So uh, there's that. Let me see if there's uh, another slide here. Nope, that's about it. So I am through my initial plan on this deck. Uh, but we'll go back to a couple others, and I want you to come up with your uh, questions. And, and what I want you to do this next time, because uh, Fred Steinard has, has uh, chimed in. Uh, we've had Jason Rivera chime in. Uh, if you do, uh, go ahead and say who you are and where you're from and what your inspection company is called. That might be, you know, might be a good thought. And this is the last last set. So anything you want to add in, chime in, talk about, um, you have about three minutes to come up with that. So here's your, th this is a classic. This is something that uh, every inspector should do. In fact, if you're a real estate agent or a home buyer watching this and your inspector does not offer a recall check, they are doing so uh, to save themselves no money. <laughs> you know, like we do it free. Uh, it's about a three minute process for them to take down uh, model numbers and serial numbers. And about one in every nine homes comes back with a free repair due to a known fire hazard. Um, now we don't, we don't take that and turn it into like a scary thing. We just turn it into factual statement. <laughs> you know, there's uh, one in nine, there you go. One in nine have a recall appliance uh, and zero issues to respond to. So if you're in the real estate, world and you're going, oh man, I don't want my inspector to find another problem. Uh, and, and this is as a salesperson, how you, you uh, convey that you know what real estate agents deal with and how you can solve their problems. You say, man, I know you guys don't want to hear about another problem from a home inspector. Well, let me tell you some of the things that we do and how we make them non-issues and how we make sure that it does not adversely affect your client or your transaction because you know you have enough to deal with in real estate already. Uh, you are, are playing uh, almost lawyer while simultaneously uh, trying to keep your clients from getting divorced. I mean, you know, you are a therapist and a business person all day long, 24 seven on real estate hours. There is no reason why you need to deal with one more thing. That's why we take care of problems and we solve issues um, as, a, as a home inspection company. And by the way, and this is, this is another thing you have to say, you have to say all the time. I've said this um, and I've meant it and I've delivered on it for 22 years uh, as an adult. And, and I'm going to leave, this is the last thing I have to say. And then, you know, we can go around anybody who has uh, anything that they want to add uh, or uh, questions, concerns, compliments, et cetera. Um, the one thing I always say at the end of any interaction with a real estate agent is if you ever have a problem, here's my number. This is my personal number. I give them my cell phone number. Um, and if you're a business owner, you should own that cell phone number of your salesperson, please. Uh, but here's my cell phone number. You call me, I'll make sure that you get taken care of because uh, that's what agents want. You know, it, are they going to remember 
every detail about recall check. Are they going to remember that uh, that their clients have an underground sewer and water line policy with your wonderful inspection company? Maybe not. Maybe they won't. And, they, and it's unfortunate because sometimes they probably their clients miss out on claims. Um, they should know. It, you know, it's you know it's something that's that's present on twenty percent of transactions in this country now. Um, and you know, some in, some agents still don't know what it is. But uh, but at least they they know that you take care of them. So keep that in mind. Always say it and stand behind it because the minute you don't, uh, you get the absolute opposite effect. You lose them and you lose them fast. Um, now I I saw somebody just just now check in that uh, uh, you know I I think should should unmute his mic. Uh, his name's Istvan. He's from New Mexico, which is actually cold. I did not know this until recently uh, when I met Isfan and I said, wow, it must be, you know, super hot there. And instead it's like, you know, below freezing at night. Uh, and anyway, Isfan, you probably heard like, I don't know, maybe just the last bit of that uh, questions or uh, anything that you want to add to it. You can unmute your mic, by the way. I have a question, but I got a lot of background noise. Can I chime in in about two minutes? It's okay, no worries. And by the way, uh, all of this is going to be, um, it, it's been recorded, it's gonna be published. I'm gonna have it up on YouTube and um, uh, probably tomorrow morning. Um, and I, I see you as well, uh, Nick. So we'll come to you next, but go ahead, it's fun. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you great. All right, I have two, well, one, I wanna compliment you on providing everything in PowerPoint. Every time I want to make something quick in PowerPoint, so that's really easy to add to the slides. So we're definitely awesome. having, uh, unfortunately, we're having way too much uh, trouble uh, hearing you. So we're going to have to, um, I'm sorry, I, I can't, I can't do that to everybody. So instead, I'm going to go to Nick Moomaw and um, uh, we'll, we'll talk uh, at the, at the next one is fun. I'll send you a microphone for your, uh, for your for your computer it'll be great uh nick nathan how you doing awesome sir good to see you i so, talked to, i talked to your wife today yeah she's sitting right here making meatballs oh great i love me so yeah me too you can tell every time you see me hey um quick question you talked about the numbers um of how many claims have been made what those numbers look like and a way to advertise that and get in touch with michael door to get the numbers Yes. Is that right? So do you have a, a, like a slide or a template made for putting those numbers into? Let me see if I can find this because uh, while, while we're talking, you know, uh, keep talking, <laughs> um, but there's, uh, there is a, um, oh gosh, uh, that's, that's not it. That's not it. Mm -mm. No, maybe that one uh, could be. Let me um, let me see if this one has it. Uh, and anyway, so uh, keep keep talking. If you well, I just know. wanted to make a see if, if you had a, a made up template for that that we could just import our numbers into, or have you guys just print up a bunch of them so that uh, Ann and and the rest of our marketing team can can kind of uh, figure out a way to get that creatively out. Uh, so, uh, damn, it's not in front of me. Um, not right now, but I, I, I know that we have it and, uh, and here's the way that we do it. We just take your, um, your request, go to Mike door and say that you want one of these. And he comes up with this template. It's already a deck slide it's made for you. And it has, you know, these, um, uh, the, the this bar chart, uh, that shows, you know, what your clients got in the last, uh, you know, the last three years or something like that. Um, I'm going to go to Bruce, uh, check, uh, next, uh, and, and Bruce, I'm going to, uh, unmute you right now. Bruce, hey, you're with Nathan. us. Hey, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Okay, cool. <clears throat> hey, uh, uh, I had a question, which is, I have not been keeping up on your stuff. I've been using it, but I haven't been keeping up on your materials, do you have a 
the best of or a good catch up place to find out about the changes that have happened the last couple of years? Well, yeah. Okay. So I, I think that the best way to do this, and, and Mike Dorr is going to hate me, but um, he has really four people in his group now that, uh, that are really good at doing these one-on-ones, we call them. And most people, most inspectors will come in and do one, you know, when they sign up. And they'll get their all their stuff set up, and they'll get their um, their integrations set up, and then and then they never do it again. You know, you're allowed to do that anytime. And I, I think every inspector should at least once a year schedule 20 minutes with um, uh, with Mike Dorn and his team, and say, you know, what should I be what should I be doing right now? And and, and let me see. I'm going to test you, okay? And I'm I'm while while you're uh, while you're answering this, I'm going to pull something up and I might share my screen here. Uh, have you utilized the uh, warranty guide? No. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, oh man. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I'm going to show you um, like th- the culmination of one of the biggest mistakes I made in this business and and how i fixed it <laughs> okay um and I, i'm not going to embarrass you okay i got i i am going to share my screen though after i am um on your resources page okay so let me go ahead and share this now there we go okay so i logged into recall check and uh, I went to the resources section, which for you is just part of the menu, uh, the main menu. Uh, and when you go to the resources section, this is the same for you know anybody on this call. The very top is the special marketing pieces for 2020. I haven't changed the name. I was going to change it to 2022, uh, and and you know <laughs> without changing anything else because I've been updating it. And here we go. There is this your warranty guide and it says download everybody should come here i'm going to tell you why after i pull it up uh with bruce checks information oh man look at how pretty that is you like that bruce i do i do so i didn't i didn't even have to hire one of my designers we built this thing that automatically designs your your stuff for you okay um so you want to make sure your logos you know updated as yours is uh, and that we have your U- URL right. Um, but but here we go. Here's your inspection guide with all these things that are free with an inspection from Colorado Professional Inspections. You know, you have your 90-day warranty for mechanical and structural issues. You have your sewer guard uh, uh, policy for underground sewer and water lines. And of course, mold safe and five years worth of roof leak protection. Um, and how do you make a claim? Well, a lot of people don't know. You just go to submityourclaim.net and that is on this uh, bifold brochure. So it opens up like a book and here's what we did. So, so a lot of people for years, this was the mistake I made. They've been going to this site. They've been downloading these long policies, making these giant books of policies and handing them to their clients because inspectors are, oh man, they are thorough individuals and, and that's fine, but nobody reads policies. So here's a, a little summary just one little paragraph of what each of these policies is about and how to make a claim. That's what they need. If, if they want to go and read terms and conditions, then you know they can go look them up. But if they would just want to know generally what they're getting, there it is, along with examples of uh, covered occurrences, what we do when, when they happen, and pictures of it. Uh, this has changed everything. And here's how inspectors are using it. When they get an order, they're sending a PDF copy with their email confirmation out that says, hey, thanks for ordering. We'll see you Wednesday. By the way, attached is our uh, warranty guide. This is, you know, goes over in summary, all of the warranties that come along free with your home inspection. Uh, and what this does is it keeps that buyer from going and booking with somebody else because you know now they have a reason to stay with you. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, and then you know inspectors will also print it out 
and they'll have it and they'll have it at the ready so that at the end of the inspection, they can go over it at the kitchen counter, but, but they'll do it. And so inspectors say, say this to me, like almost everyone that says, oh man, this thing's working so well, but let me tell you a little secret. I'm like, okay, here it comes. Uh, I wait for the agent to be in the room and then I present it to the client, but I act like I'm only presenting it to the client, but I'm really presenting it to the agent. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. no. so you're like a marketing ninja. Um, yeah. And so you should, you should do that. Uh, and you didn't know about this. Like we've known each other how long? 10 years? 20. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you don't know about this thing or this whole section. So log in at the very least, even if you don't have time and, and I get it, we all get busy, uh, go to your resources section and download things like the, uh, the walkthrough checklist, the customized walkthrough checklist, or some of these social media uh, ads that'll be customized to you, or some of these buck slips that you can print out, you know, third sheet of paper, uh, and, and they're easy, they're quick, they're stunning, they're bright, they're vibrant, and these are just my, my favorites. But then, you, you know, when you scroll down here, there's another, you know, couple thousand things for you to download. <laughs> so, um, that's, yeah, that stuff's all good for downloading or for dropping off at, at real estate mailboxes and stuff like that and just showing your face in there. And, you know, some of that stuff, like even that warranty guide, I, I it, it, it's kind of like, what is this? And what does that have to do with a home inspector? They might actually look at it. Well, yeah. So, um, so one thing you can do is you could take it and uh, print it off. We of course offer that that service, but you could print it off and then get a, a red permanent marker, you know, like the medium point, and on the front say "sample for office," and like just write it like real mess, and then yeah. drop that in kind of the uh, the a public area in in the real sure. estate office, you know, in the in the break room. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I just had a couple more quick questions on the uh, the recall check. You know, uh, the first go around that I had with you, we, I didn't do the recall check because you didn't really have the software and it, or whatever it was. It was a pain. Yep. But then, you know, when I got back with you a couple of years ago, I was like, oh, this is OK. OK, I can deal with this now. It's not too much of a change uh, in my flow. <laughs> But, you know, that little uh, software has a couple of things that are, are not optimized on it. Do you have a way for us to, you know, give you some input on that? You know, I, I just last week um, I, or two weeks ago, Jerry Suarez of Vital Inspections in uh, Miami, he, he walked right into my office in Fort Lauderdale uh, and he said, hey, you know what would be great? on this, uh, the Priority Lab app. And he gave me a couple of suggestions and it was like, man, those are good. <laughs> and we had them done the next week. Uh, I, I am not good at hiding. My email address is nathan at nathan.tv. Okay. Well, like for example, I, I you know, use it and the, the uh, picture of the house, I get it the same way every time, which is I take it from a picture I've all already taken on my inspection software. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't, I, you know, I use the option of picking a file off of my phone and it, it's the same th thing every time, but the software doesn't have any way to remember your last option. Right. Right. Um, give me like a two sentence summary when you send me the email and maybe even a screenshot. That would be easiest, sure. and then I can forward it okay. to uh, to our programming team. We have about, you know, on any given day, we have between thirty and forty people that are programming for you guys. There's, you know, there's a reason why we keep are able to keep all this stuff up and um, uh, and and keep innovating. So, okay. appreciate your input as always. Yeah. Um, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> of course, good to talk to you, Bruce. Uh, I yeah. think I think that that looks is that Michael Wickland. It's Michael. I am going to ask you to unmute, sir. Uh, there you are. Okay. Just one thing, as long as you're then, on then the I'm back, app. Like then I'm, I'm back to Fred. 
and I think okay. Fred is still uh, looking to talk to me. And then, um, and then we're gonna uh, shut this down because I told you I, guys I would uh, re respect your time at an hour, and so we're gonna do that. Michael, you're up. So just one thing when you're talking about the app, you know, the recall check app, it's really a pain when you're going through a new house and all the appliances are Whirlpool, but yet you have to put in Whirlpool, Whirlpool, Whirlpool. If it's an older home and we've got four or five different brands, that makes sense that you have to put them in because it's a Whirlpool and a Maytag and a KitchenAid. But isn't there a way you can code it to have, if they're all the same and we know they're all the same, Quit asking me the question, what kind of, what brand is the appliance? Right. Have um, a checkbox to say, whatever I put in the first spot, populate all of them, the same brand. Well, actually, I, I, here's the way that I would do it. And again, you send me that email, like I just described, okay. with, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. two sentence uh, summary. But, but here's the way that I would see it is that, you know, there's usually, um, it, to your point, similar appliances you know throughout the home so if we were to have uh, have it so that you selected whirlpool and then there's like there's the list of appliances but then there's a line and above it the next time is whirlpool right because you've, yeah. you've selected it on that one a and above the line can be up to three whoa right. you know now yeah. now and, and it's just the last three that were selected i i think yeah i think that's great but less clicks equals more productivity for you and the the when you get the update on the priority lab app and you see what jerry uh made us do um uh, you will be very happy because now you don't have to say 15 liters per minute it's already there yeah and and why okay. didn't we think of this over seven years we didn't think of that so um that's that i'm gonna, gonna move, move you back uh, okay. uh thank you sounds like a lot of fun in there <laughs> I like all right uh we're gonna come back to uh fred and then and then we're uh cutting it uh cutting our uh recording and um we uh, appreciate you all for joining uh fred you're up Hey, Nathan, thank you. Uh, with the warranty guide for those of us that are full package users. Yes. Where, we, where we've where we got every warranty you have. Yes. Is there a way to get the warranty guide done with all of them or not enough space or something? Hey, call the marketing department and ask for it. Okay. So um, what, one moment. Uh, I'm going to show you something. Wait, like, did you log in and try this? Possibly, uh, or possibly not, because um, it should, and we programmed it this way, it should automatically have whatever you have. So give it a try. If it doesn't, send me an email, Nathan at Nathan.tv, and because uh, uh, not only will I get you the right one, um, but I'll fix that programming. Uh, and, I, and I know that it, it it works because I've seen it. You know, here, here's nope. nope, it doesn't work. Well, I'm looking you know, at it right now. So, like I was saying, it doesn't work at all. And uh we're gonna um uh, we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> so hey, the version that also includes next uh structural warranty with it as well. Yeah, yeah, it includes next, but it doesn't include like termite and radon, which is biggies for us up here. Yep. But I just wanted to pass along a little help. Okay. There's, the this beautiful, the, there's this beautiful book, Savvy Agent, written uh -huh. by Nathan Thornberry. That's true. Some, some guy. <laughs> we have our marketing people give this to every new agent on the uh, with our label on it. Very nice. Um, and that, by the way, that works. <laughs> you know, put put your business card in there and a little uh, uh, post-it on the front that says, thought, you know, got this for you or thought, thought of thinking of you or, you know, something along those lines uh, works very well. Uh, I'm sorry, you are asking for an exception. We're happy to build it for you. Um, we've never put in the warranty guide, the termite or the radon. And I, I personally made that exception um, not thinking about how important it was in your market. So uh, my bad, 
but in in, well, in most in most markets you know they 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 like the primary four or five and that's right. our um our time for the folks uh for tonight uh great question great, great question fred uh thank you as always we're gonna uh, stop the recording now and um, look forward to uh, next time. Um, talk to you soon.